and welcome back to Cooking with Maria. Today I'm going to be making a recipe from this amazing cookbook that I bought called Colombiana. And I've already made a couple of recipes from here, so I'm sure this one will turn out amazing. I'm making a yuca cake, otherwise known as an yucado. And for this recipe, you'll need a bunt pan and all the ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions will be in the description box down below. Let's get started. First, we're going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we're going to grease a baking pan or a bundt cake pan with some butter. We want to grate some castaño or cotija cheese. So what I'm gonna do instead of standing here with a grater, I'm going to actually use my food processor and there is a grating attachment to it. However, if you have the time or if you could purchase a cheese that's already grated, you can do that as well. What I'm going to do here is I will remove the grated cheese from the food processor and place it in a separate bowl. We got a fresh coconut and used a screwdriver as well as a hammer. We'll add in our coconut now, either fresh or frozen, and we'll grate that as well. We'll now add the grated coconut into our bowl that has the cotija cheese in it. This already smells incredible, so I am very much looking forward to tasting this recipe. Next, we'll grate the main ingredient, the yuca. And we'll add the yuca into the coconut and cheese. Last couple of steps is to add in the melted butter and anise seeds. And we'll stir this all together. Finally, we want to add the sweetened condensed milk to the mixture and fold it in. However, I don't have any sweetened condensed milk, but I do have dolce de leche, so I'm gonna be using this instead. I'm adding some milk to the recipe because I find that dolce de leche is not as thin as condensed milk. Now we'll transfer it into a bundt pan and bake it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. Time to put it in the oven. I've let the cake cool down, and what I'll do now is I'll transfer it over onto a plate. Hope this works. Maybe over the spoon, I don't know. I broke my husband's favorite wooden spoon. This better have worked after all this banging. So apparently I have to run a knife along the edge of the cake. And now we'll flip it over. My husband suggested that I use a knife to pull out the cake from the pan. However, because it's a non-stick pan, excuse Luna, she's just pawing at the window. Give me a second. Where was I? So what I've done here is I've scratched the non-stick surface of this bunt cake pan. Luna is again at the door, give me a second. And this is really sad because I just bought this cake pan. If you saw like three videos ago, I made a video of a haul that I did at Tap Home Trading. And I just bought this pan and I've already scratched it up, so that's great. Let's cut into this cake. Let's give this a try. Hmm. I'm not sure if I grated the yuca thinly enough and also it was slightly frozen when I grated it. I let it thaw for about two hours on the countertop but it might have needed a little bit longer. The reason I'm saying that is because it's a little bit hard to chew and the texture is, I feel like it could be a little bit of a softer texture. Next time I'll definitely use the sweetened condensed milk as opposed to the dolce de leche. Maybe that makes a difference as well. Let's try tapping it. I need full on scratches in every single part of this. Oh, Thanks for recommending that. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below your favorite South American recipes. I'm obsessed with Latin American food and I would love to try more recipes for you guys. Also follow me on Instagram at Greco Recipes. Bye, have a great day.